I need a lot of cocaine, wrote Sigmund Freud to his friend and colleague Wilhelm Fleiss. I am overflowing with new ideas, theoretical ones as well. It was 1895 and Freud was in a career crisis. According to several biographers, one of Freud's patients, Emma Eckstein, had come to him complaining of stomach pains and depression related to her menstrual cycle. Freud diagnosed her with hysteria and masturbating to excess, something he believed was both a mental illness and the root of all addic addiction. As he wrote in the abstract of masturbation, addiction, and obsessional neurosis, he called in Fleiss, an otorolingologist for the treatment, cauterization of the nose. Fleiss believed the nose was was linked to the genitals and that operating on it could quell sexual problems such as Emma's. He and Freud cauterized her nose with cocaine, which was legal at the time and sometimes used as a local anesthetic and for cauterization. They shoveled gram after gram and then something must have happened where they got sidetracked because they forgot to take it out. Party time, yeah! Sigmund Freud, the father of modern psychology, went into exile just in time for the Holocaust after shoveling grams of cocaine up little girls' noses with his boyfriends. First, do no harm or you're not a doctor, okay? All food on the planet comes from the sun. Farming is capitalism on nature. It's God's plan. But medicine, first I shall do no harm. And then a doctor is compelled from each according to his means to each according to his needs. There's no authority to say, stand back, police, for instance. I'm a doctor. You don't cripple a little boy in surgery and follow him around snitching on everybody and act like he's the unclean thing. Your opinion on my use of beneficial chemistry in the absence of appropriate health care is that of any wizard. As to the question of whether or not Catholic women get health care, Let's see your most ridiculous arguments in the comments. If the unborn is a threat to the mother's life and not a viable heir, then continuing is not going to produce an heir. So why sacrifice the mother without the benefit of an heir? We're not going to accidentally kill Jesus. Oh, he resurrected himself. Found him. But you can't just go around declaring war on the babies just because you're too chicken to fight a real one. We don't sacrifice generations to, to God for money and act like, well, God needs money. Islam has been using terrorism and slavery to remain the final word in medical ethics for the past 1,400 years.